sit down, you can sit cross-legged. Um, I've got a cushion underneath me, so you can always do the same. Sorry, I'm just going to adjust that because that would drive me mad. Okay. So come and sit cross-legged. Or feel free, if you want to come to kneeling, you can. Or you can come to lie on your back as well briefly. It's entirely up to you. But we will just arrive here. So get yourself comfortable. Arrive in this moment, in the position that you've chosen. And just check in. So as you now always start the class by just noticing how we feel. So whatever's happened before today, before this moment or things that we have to do later, none of those matter at the moment. We are here in this place. Just taking some conscious breaths. Noticing the body, how the body feels, noticing the mind, how the mind is. Maybe it's hard to switch off, which is fine, that's natural. But just take a few moments to be here. And if you're familiar with the Ujjayi breath, the ocean breath, with a slight restriction in the back of the throat. So it's like you're fogging up your mirror with your breath, that sound. But we tend to, we do it with our mouth closed. You can start to invite that in, breathing in and out through your nose. I will do a video on Ujjayi breath. I said before that I would. I haven't got round to it, so I will. And if I don't, remind me. And if you have no idea what I mean with Ujjayi breath, just take some conscious breaths here. Again, just notice how you feel. No judgment. Slowly, surely bring in your hands gently at your heart, Anjali Mudra, dropping your chin to the chest, just bowing to one another, bowing to yourself, giving yourself thanks for allowing you to have this time. It's time for you to reconnect back to the breath, back to your body, and unwind. Slowly lifting the head. Okay, from here, if you want a cushion, bring it out of the way, and we're going to come down to lie on our back. So as you do, just lie here with knees bent, feet on the floor, heels next uh, towards your bottom, hands, palms, facing down by your sides. So just arrive here. You can nestle the shoulders underneath just by pushing gently into the back of your head to lift the shoulders up. Just roll them under and down. So you're starting to just get a bit more width, a bit broader through those shoulders. From here, we're gonna roll the spine up into bridge. So on an exhale, just tilt the pelvis up so you can feel your lower back on the floor. And then on an inhale, we're just going to start to lift the hips up. Exhale, slowly rolling down, vertebra of vertebrae, all the way down. Allow the spine to roll. And then again, find that lower back on the ground and on an inhale, start to lift up. So you're just going to move with your breath. Inhaling to lift, exhaling to lower. Your choice, how far you decide to take this bridge pose. You can come an inch or two off the floor. 
way that you really start to lift those hips, chest towards the chin. Really tap into the breath, breathing in and out through the nose. The next time your hips come down to the ground, we're going to start to invite the arms in as well. So get ready when we start to lift the hips, we're also going to lift the arms. Inhale and take those arms all the way behind you. If you want to, you can take a breath here, really stretching into the sides of the body. And then on an exhale, lowering hips and hands back down to the floor. Again, inhale in your own time, lifting hips, lifting arms, stretching, exhale, coming down. Continue that, keep moving through, move with your breath. If it's too much, so sometimes when we're lifting the arms as well, we possibly can feel that we're causing tension in the body. And if that's the case, if this isn't like a, a lovely stretch, Okay, if it's causing too much tension, then maybe just move the arms first of all, keeping the hips down, and then the arms can come down, and then you can lift the hips. You can do one, and then the other. So don't feel like you have to do both. We'll do a couple more here. Maybe close your eyes if you haven't already, so you can just really feel this movement into the body. Last one. Wherever you are, lift those hips. Maybe lifting those arms as well. Exhale, lower everything back down to the earth. Slowly bring your knees in towards your chest and give your knees a little bit of a squeeze. You can even round the head, the chin, forehead up towards the knees. Exhale, release. Bring the left foot to the ground, crossing the right foot over, so the right ankle over the left knee. And you will have done this before, sometime in your life. So just start to peel that left foot off the floor so you can then spread your hands through. And again, you have a choice. You can either hold on to the back of the thigh or bring the hands around the shin, flexing through that right foot. So looking after that right knee. Maybe this is enough. Maybe pull that left knee in a little bit closer towards the chest. So you should be feeling this in your right glutes, in that right buttock. Okay. You can start to almost move the legs towards the left a little bit more if you're not feeling it. So you can start to really get that stretch. Take one more breath here. Exhale, release, and cross the legs, and we're simply just going to repeat on the other side. So crossing left leg over right, flexing through that foot, and then holding on either to the back of the thigh or around that right shin, and gently pulling it in towards your chest. Connect to your breath. So the breath is really important. If you just showed up for an hour and just went through some movement, yeah, sure, that would be great for the body. But actually, when we tap into the breath, that's where the change happens. That's where the nervous system starts to switch on and understands that we are in that relaxed state, that perhaps we don't need that fight or flight and the body can settle down. Take another breath. Exhale, release. From here, we're just going to bring both feet up towards the ceiling. So we're going to reach up with the feet, soles of the feet reaching up. And then I want you to bring your hands up also. So your fingertips are reaching up towards the ceiling and the soles of your feet. 
having the legs as straight as you can, okay? You can have them bent, but just having almost like, I want you to imagine that you almost stood um, on the ceiling with your hands and feet. What I want you to do is bring your hands, your palms facing towards each other. Then imagine that you're holding a ball between your hands. So it's amazing, you don't actually have to hold anything, but it's just that intention to spread those fingers, the arms are strong. You're gonna inhale, take the arms all the way back, still holding that ball, reaching the arms all the way back behind you. Inhale again, coming back up, hands come towards the knees, and then you're gonna take the hands either side of your legs. So that imaginary ball is passing through the legs, chin towards the chest. So you're bringing the hands almost down towards the floor. Inhale back up. Exhale behind you. So just getting this movement. Your arms are active. Okay, you can feel those muscles. Maybe you need to take some circles with the feet, just releasing off the legs. Hands come back and all the way down. One more here, inhale, exhale, take the hands behind you, holding on to that ball, exhale, hands come up, and bring your hands down to the side, and then bring your palms to the floor, bend your knees, bring your knees in towards your chest, and again, just hug those knees in, rock from side to side, Start to get a little bit of movement here, massaging in the back. And then bringing your hands to your shins. So you can hold um, with the fingertips facing in towards each other. We're going to start to um, do some circles here. So breathing in, bring your knees in towards your chest and then take your knees out wide. Exhale, create a circle, bring the knees back in and in towards the chest. So we're here. We're just Separating the legs, bringing them back in and circling round. Really getting into those hips, stretching through. Reverse back circle. Inhale, push the knees out in front. Exhale, they come round and into the chest. So you might be feeling this in the inner thighs, in the legs, possibly in the core as well. Okay, so you're using those tummy muscles to help stabilize. Last one. And then slowly bringing the knees. In. Rolling over onto any side, making your way all the way up. And then coming on to all fours. Lovely. So come on to all fours, hands on, underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips, and we're just going to start to create some circles. So if you want a bit more spaces, so normally when we come to cat and cow, we have that foundation of the, the hands underneath the shoulders, but perhaps we take the hands a little bit wider, a little bit further forward, and start to rock those hips round, to the left, to the front, to the right, and back. So you're really starting to stretch through. Get this movement in. Maybe even closing your eyes so you can really pay attention to areas that perhaps feel a little bit tighter. Maybe there's some sore areas. Reverse the circle, take it the other way. And then spiral back. So slowly take those circles a little bit smaller. And each time moving in this circle, they're becoming smaller and smaller until you come back to that central position. Walk the hands back so they're underneath the shoulders if they're not already coming into this tabletop position. 
spread through the fingers. So really spread through the fingers. If you've got problems with the wrists, um, a lot of the time in these positions we keep our hands facing forwards or the fingertips facing forwards. But if you have a slight problem with the wrist, just turn our hands out a little bit. Just ease it off a little bit here. From here we're going to inhale, drop the tummy down, gazing forwards towards the front. I can really feel that in my tummy. Exhale, chin to chest. It's the core work I was doing yesterday, I can definitely feel it. Rounding through the spine. Start to take this movement with the breath. Inhale, coming forward into our cow pose, dropping the tummy, gazing up. Exhale, rounding through the back. Continue that with your breath. Getting this gentle movement through the spine. You've been sat at a desk all day. This can feel amazing just to get some movement in here. Last one. Inhale into our cow. Exhaling into our cat. Inhale back to that tabletop position. Curl the toes under, reach back with the hips, walk the hands forward slightly, and we're going to start to peel the hips up off the floor, keeping those knees bent, dropping the head in between the space in the upper arms. Take a breath here. And we're going to start to add a little bit of a flow here. So keeping these knees bent. We're going to exhale, lower the knees down. We've done this before. We're going to inhale, look forwards into our cow, keeping the toes tucked under. Exhale, rounding back into our cat, and then lifting the knees into our dog. We inhale here, and then we exhale, take the knees back down to the floor. Inhale into cow. Exhale, rounding through. Moving through cat and then into dog again. My heels are lifted, really bending through the knees. On your next exhale, lower the knees down. Inhale into cow pose, cat. And then exhale into our cat. Lovely, coming into down dog. So we're going to keep doing that just for a few more breaths. So exhale knees, inhale cow. Exhale, cat, lifting the knees down, dog. Inhale here. Keep moving through. If you need to pause, you can. You can take a breath. Moving through. Last time. We'll all meet in down the dog when you're ready. I hope it doesn't hammer down here, it will become really loud. I'm sure you can hear the rain. <laughs> and start to pedal those feet. Bend one knee, bend the other. And then from here, we're slowly going to lower the knees down to the floor. Bring the big toes to touch, the knees come wide, sink those hips back, and take. A restorative child's pose. So just bring your hands on top of each other to rest your forehead down, relax through the shoulders. If you want to be a bit more active here, you can keep those arms lifted out in front. But as it's our Thursday chill out time, perhaps just come here with the forehead resting. Take a few breaths there. Feel the back of your body expand with that breath. And on your next inhale, slowly coming up onto our knees. And then we're going to push ourselves up so we are kneeling. If you need to, 
put a blanket under your knees to pad them out when things do. Okay, and from here, we're just going to inhale, take the arms out at shoulder height. So I'll turn to the side this way for you. So we're in at shoulder height here, take a breath. And then exhale, just spin left arm round towards the right. So you start to twist at the waist. So you can start to look back towards that left hand or maybe looking back towards the front. So it's this movement here, it's all across this way, so getting a stretch in here. Inhale, come back to centre, so you're twisting back through, arms at shoulder height. Exhale, right arm comes back, left arm forward, navel draws in. So just notice how this feels. Breathe into the tummy. Inhale back to centre. We'll do one more each side. Exhale, left hand back. Inhale back to centre. Exhale to the other side. So we're twisting at the waist. We're trying to keep those hips forward. It's the shoulders, it's the waist that's coming back. Inhale back to centre. Release the arms, give the arms a little bit of a shake off. So we'll move my clock down there. I can't see the time. Excuse me. Okay, so staying on our knees for now, we're going to step our left foot forward. Okay, we're going to bring the arms up again. So we're going to inhale here, arms come left to right. Take a breath here, curl the back toes under. So the, back, the right toes, just tuck those under, roll the shoulders back, navel draws in, try and find some ease here. And then again, left arm comes back, right hand forward. And then bring your hands together here and then just gently bring your right elbow down to your left knee. So we're coming into this twist. Now feel free to stay here. Okay, you can be here just opening up through the body, taking a few mindful breaths here, or perhaps lengthening and straightening that back leg now, you can hobble that back knee off the ground if you want to. But the real focus here isn't necessarily the leg, it's this twist. So if you're finding that you're focusing on the legs and one can't come into this twist, then take a more restorative pose. One more breath here. Exhale. Lower right knee. Bring the right hand down to the ground. Inhale. Take that left arm up. Reaching up. Full breath. We can get a little bit of movement in here through the neck. And then exhale. Left hand comes down to the floor. Shifting your hips back. Just start to rock the left hip to the back. Left toes towards the face. I do apologise. I hope you can still hear me. Can you give me a thumbs up if you can still hear me? Okay. It's so loud. The camera is loud. Okay, take a few breaths here in this heart split. So really breathe. If it's too much straightening through this left leg, you can have a soft bend. We're not dropping the hips all the way back here. And still keep these hips high, dropping the head down. Full breath. Inhale, roll forward on that front leg. Hands come down to the floor and simply just step that left knee back, and we're going to switch legs. So, right leg comes up now. Inhale, coming up, bring your arms up at shoulder height and take a breath here. Feel free, you can either be on the top of the foot, you know the choice that we have in this back leg in a moment, or you can tuck those toes under. From here, right arm's gonna come back, left arm forward, take that twist, maybe looking back towards the left hand, or you can start to look out towards the right side. From here, left elbow comes down to the outside of that right knee. Bring that right hand to touch that left palm. And then open up, come into this twist. Stay here, or perhaps on your next inhale, straighten through that back leg. 
So the awareness again is in this twist. Breathing deep. Wherever you are, if you've lifted that back leg, slowly lower the knee to the ground. Bring the hands down to the floor briefly. Left hand stays on the floor. Inhale, take that right arm up. Coming into this twist. Relax through those shoulders. Really find the breath here. Right hand comes down, frames that front foot. And then from here, we're shifting the hips back, starting to lift through the toes of that front foot. Straightening through that front leg as much as we can. Inhale to take that length to create the length in the body. Exhale, starting to fold over the leg. Breathing deep. Taking a couple more breaths here. Inhale, when you're ready, rolling through that front foot, planting the hands, set that right knee back. Inhale here into our crown pose. Exhale through cat, and then lift those hips, coming into our down dog. This time you can straighten the legs, you can pedal the legs, just get a little bit of movement in here, so slow. Soft movements. Feel free to breathe out through the mouth. With that exhale, really allowing any tension to release. And then bending your knees, looking forwards, slowly making your way up to the front of your mat, forward fold. Again, take space here with the feet. Perhaps having them hit with the heart, swaying left to right, you can have soft knees. You can straighten and bend the legs, really get them in to those hamstrings if they're a bit tight. And then we're going to inhale into our half lift. Hands come all the way up to the thighs this evening. Roll those shoulders back, navel draws in. So just that awareness, not causing any tension here. Slightly looking out in front, strong feet. One more breath here. Exhale, releasing down. Hands come out left to right. Inhale, pushing through the feet, roots rise, coming all the way up to standing. Exhale, hands to heart. Just take a moment here. Feel free to lift the toes of the feet and give the toes a little bit of a wiggle. If you need to bend the knees, pedaling the legs, then do take a full breath. Soft knees. Inhale, reaching up. Exhale, slowly folding forward, bringing the hands down to the floor. Inhale, back into that halfway lift, allowing the hands to trace all the way up to the thighs. Exhale, folding back down. Bringing the hands to the floor, stepping one foot back, stepping two foot back, coming into plank or kneeling plank. I'm going to take kneeling this evening. Elbows facing back behind you, lower all the way down to the ground. Come on to the top of the feet. Inhale, over. Exhale, back down. Inhale, pushing up onto your knees. And then pushing the hips all the way back towards the heels. And from that point, we're going to then start to lift the hips up, coming into our downward block. Take the breath here. Breathing into the left and right side of the body, lengthening through the spine. You need to ease off the lower back, bend those knees. And then slowly bending the knees, looking forwards towards the front of your mat and make your way up. 
Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold you back down. Inhale, bend the knees, reach the arms, moving slow. Coming all the way up to our mountain pose. From here, just take a breath. And then we're going to come into wide standing. So bring your feet out, see so on the, the long side of your mat. Feet a little bit wider than hip width, or as wide as you're comfortable here. Inhale, hands on the hips, roll those shoulders back, really opening up to the chest, maybe even leaning back here. Be mindful of your lower back, decide if this works for you, so you can push those hips forward. Exhale, transition through all the way down into our wide-legged forward fold. Release the hands. Just place the hands wherever you're comfortable. And then just notice if you're shifting your weight back into your heels, which is quite common, it's what we tend to do. Just see if you can roll forwards a little bit more so you can feel that weight in your toe mounds in the front of the feet. And then really allowing that head to come down towards the ground. Feel free, your hands can hold on to the ankles if you want. To get a bit more of a deeper stretch using that grip to pull you down. And we are going to take a couple of breaths here. So arrive. Take a few conscious breaths. Really allow those shoulders to be heavy. So it's it's not like we're allowing the shoulders to just completely drop down. You still want the lift through the shoulders up and away from the floor, but you almost want this weight here. On your next inhale, come up onto fingertips or if your hands are hovering, and just walk your hands all the way over towards the right side. Maybe your left hand can come on the outside of that right ankle or shin, and really use that ankle with the hands to just pull your head down towards the floor, towards that right leg, feeling that stretch. Relaxing through the shoulders. Take a breath here. So if you really start to lean over towards that right side, you can really get that stretch. And then slowly walking the hands back through centre. Inhale, half lift. So maybe up onto the fingertips, gazing out. Exhale to fold. And as you do, walk the hands over towards the left side. Again, reaching with that right hand. And then dropping the head down here. Full breath. Coming back through center on that exhale. Inhale, halfway lift. Bringing the hands to your waist, exhale here, then inhale, soft through the knees, slowly rolling all the way up. And just take a moment, because you've been head down for a while, so that is an inversion, the head is lower than the heart, so just take a moment to allow everything just to travel back. And then we're going to turn the right toes out, so the right toes are going to face towards the short side of the mat, and that left foot staying exactly where it is. You might want to shorten the stance. Keeping the legs nice and straight here. We're moving slow, we're moving mindfully. I want you to reach your right arm forward, so it's like you're going to shake somebody's hand towards the right. Lean forward, bump those hips back, and then just gently bring that right hand down to the right leg. So you can either rest that hand, the fingertips on the shin, maybe the back of the hand comes to the inside, 
of that right leg or onto the floor next to the heel. And again, choose what you want to do with this left arm, okay? It's a little bit more active this evening, but again, moving slow. So choose whether you want to keep this left arm where it is, or maybe you reach that left arm up. Taking our trikonasana pose here. That right hip tucks under, that left hip starts to roll back. Full breath. To come out of this, we're going to bend into that right knee first, just to allow ourselves to protect that leg, and then inhale, coming up to warrior. So that right leg is bent. Soft arm. So often we're here, we're strong, we're powerful. We just allow the fingertips to soften, the shoulders to soften. Left hand is going to come behind your back. Inhale, take that right arm up, maybe just reaching up towards the ceiling. Maybe lean back, your choice. And then we're going to inhale, come back to warrior two. Turn the right toes in, left toes out. Right hand comes down to the right hip. Straighten through the legs here, reach with that left hand. Bump the hips back. And then again, repeating on this side, trikonasana. Left hand either on the shin or on the ankle. Roll that right shoulder open. So you're rolling it back and up. Getting this length, this stretch through the chest. The heart opener here. Again, you can always take that right arm up. Full breath. Try and find some softness in the head, in the neck. Start to bend into that left knee and then inhale, coming up, bringing that right hand behind your back. Take the left arm up, reaching with the left arm. Reverse warrior. Exhale, coming back up, straighten through that leg, turn the left toes in. Turn the right toes back towards that short side of the mat. Bring your hands down, pivot that back foot, and step the right foot back. If you lost that anywhere, we're coming into a downward facing dog. You just arrive here. You can rock the hips left to right. Taking a moment. Exhale, gently lowering the knees down. Keeping the hands where they are, just walk the knees back. And then keeping the arms lifted, you might need a bit more space. You can always walk the hands forward a little bit. The hips stay up. So I want you to always think down dog here as you drop the heart, the chin down to the ground. So this is our heart to earth pose. Maybe the forehead touches. If you want a bit more here, you can bring the chin. But I like to bring the forehead, melting the heart down. It's a really nice stretch in the shoulders. If that's too much, you can bring the forearms down to the ground. You don't have to have them lifted. Just take some conscious breaths here. Full belly breath. Thank you, more here. On your next inhale, slowly coming back up. Keeping the knees where they are. What we're going to do here is bring this left knee in towards the left wrist. So you can do it from a kneeling position, but you end up with almost like you haven't got enough space here. So I quite like to lift the hips, coming into a modified down dog, and then bring the left knee in, and then walking that right foot back. So I'll just face you guys a moment just so you can see. So we're going from here, left knee in, and then coming back. 
okay? You have to make sure that you have some awareness in this right foot, um, left foot, sorry, um, just to protect that left knee. Now you can bring that right foot, uh, left foot really far forward. That doesn't feel good in my hips, okay? And I've been working on it for a while. It just doesn't seem to work for me. So I just bring my foot back a little bit and then be here. So you can start to use your arms to shift the weight. So I'm going to turn back to the side. You can start to use your body to just move left to right and you'll find a position where you can really start to feel it. If not, just move that left foot a little bit more. And believe me, there will be that spot. We tend to sort of shift off a bit. We tend to sort of drop our hips to the left. If you roll them back through center, you'll start to feel it here. Maybe staying up on your arms. If you've got a pillow or a blanket, you can exhale here, maybe coming down to the forearms, bringing the forehead down to the pillow or either to the earth. We're going to take five breaths here. You can always bring a, a pillow to balance underneath this left hip, this left thigh, if this isn't right. But really listen to your body. What feels like the right thing to do for you? And if this really isn't comfortable, you can come back to that supine pigeon pose that we did at the beginning where we cross one leg over the knee of the other whilst lying on our back and holding on to the back of the thigh. It's a similar thing. This one can be a little bit more intense. So really tune into your breath. I absolutely love this pose. I have to be very careful that I don't just zen out here and <laughs> don't come back out of it. But it is, it's, for me, this is, it's quite intense for me, but it's a really good stretch. Using those exhales to soften, really soften into that hip, into that thigh. Take another breath here. Using your next inhale to slowly push yourself up onto your hands. Curl the back toes under, okay, just to give you that leverage here, just to lift yourself up. So you have to use that strength to maybe step that left foot back into a down dog. Feel free to pedal the feet if you want to first, stretching through that left leg. And then we're going to repeat. So that right knee now is going to come in towards the right wrist, lowering that left leg down. And I quite like to walk the hips back just a little bit and then come onto the top of the feet. So when you arrive, take that full breath first, that inhale, and then using that length, we start to walk the hands down. Maybe you're still on fingertips, you can always bring blocks and pillows and bolsters here to really make this a restorative pose. And again, find that sweet spot, okay? Just by moving side to side, there will be a place where you go, aha, that's it. And then, when you find it, take a few deep breaths. This is a really good stretch for the piriformis muscle. So, people who suffer with sciatica, this is a great stretch for that. Making sure you have awareness in that right foot.
Two more breaths here. On your next inhale, bringing the hands back down if they're not already. Working your way back. Curl that back toes under, lifting up, coming back to a downward dog. Take a full breath here. Maybe bringing those heels towards the floor. Again, it's just that intention. They don't have to touch. And then we're going to exhale, lower the knees back down, spin the legs to one side. And we're going to come into Sukhasana, a seated pose, easy pose. So coming into Sukhasana, legs crossed, hands on your knees. Just take a moment here just to arrive. And we're going to come into a couple of twists here. So inhale, take the arms up all the way up above the head, stretching left to right, navel draws in. From here, your right hand is going to come across to your left knee, left hand is going to come behind you. Roll that left shoulder back, inhale, starting to create length through the spine. Almost imagining that you have a string on the crown of your head and it's slowly pulling the crown of the head a little bit taller. Using those exhales to twist, so really allowing the body and the mind to soften. The whole aim of this practice is to help us unwind and relax and to ease the mind, body and spirit. So just find ways to soften and ease here. And slowly coming back through centre. I'm going to repeat on the other side. So inhale, take that leg, reaching up. Exhale, left hand comes to right knee, right knee behind you. Once your hands are planted, then roll that right shoulder back. Open up through the chest, take that leg. Navel draws back. Maybe start to look back over this right shoulder. Really finding that connection to your breath. So we could just easily go through these poses, but actually when we pause and find the breath, that's where the connection happens. On the next exhale, slowly coming back through center. And then from here, just bringing the hands out in front of you. Just walk the hands forward as far as they'll go. Try and keep the hips rooted. Stretch, really reach with those fingertips. And then drop the chin all the way in towards the chest. So starting to round through the head. Take a breath here. Full conscious breathing. Inhale, slowly rolling back up. Lovely. Okay, from here, coming down onto our back. And if you do have a cushion, um, my cushion is quite big, I could use the other one actually, but if you do have a cushion, just see when you arrive here to. See if you can bring that cushion to just rest under your lower back. So it's almost like you're coming into a supported bridge pose. You can roll it up a little bit more so that your hips are already lifted. You can roll a blanket, add more pillows there if you want to, and just come to this resting position. Your hands can be on your hips. Maybe bring your left hand to your heart and right hand on your belly or bringing the hands down to the foot. It's entirely up to you. Close your eyes. Don't worry too much if you don't have a pillow or a blanket 
or enough to sort of wedge it in, cut the block underneath your sacrum here. You can just be lying your back flat on the ground, knees down. Not here for too long. So this again is all about these slight inversions when the hips are lifted. Okay, it's allowing the head to drop lower than the heart. And it can be really, really calming for the mind. Especially when you're supported by props and things. And this is how I like the Thursday class to be, really. Just the, the morning sessions are a lot more flowy and strong and intense. So this allows you to almost reap the benefits from those practices that you've been doing, then allowing you to just relax and restore. On your next inhale, if you have these props beneath you, you start to lift the hips, pushing through just so you can slide them out to one side. Lowering the hips down. It's amazing how far the floor actually feels when you take props out. It feels like you've got a long way to go. From here, just bringing the knees up, not all the way into the chest, just lifting the feet up off the floor. Bring the hands out to the side, left to right. Bringing the palms to the floor, so wrapping those shoulders round. On your next exhale, allowing your knees to fall to the left and your head to go to the right. Inhale back to centre, knees come up. And knees to the right, head to the left. So you're just going to keep switching, moving with the breath, inhaling up. Exhaling to twist the knees and head going in the opposite direction. Really working into the muscles of the fascia all down the spine. Also a nice little rinse for the digestive system. And the next time you're over towards the right, Allow the right knee and the knees to come down to the ground if you're able to head towards the left. You can always cross the under leg, that right leg, over the top of the left and use it to pull the leg down a little bit more. But perhaps just keep those knees flat. Take two breaths here. And then you're just going to switch those legs over. So inhale, head, knees come back to centre and allow the knees and the head to go in the opposite direction. And again, just arrive here. Take a couple of breaths. Where can you soften in the body? Slowly feeling yourself back through centre. Wrap your arms around your shins. Really hug those knees in. Feel free if you want to lift the head up towards the knees. Giving yourself a little hug. And then bringing your hands to the outside of your feet. So you might have to do this one at a time. 
which is fine. You can always hold on to the shins here. We're coming into happy baby pose. So you can just be here holding on to the shins, knees are wide, or perhaps if you can hold on to the outside of your feet, your arms come on the inside of the legs, hands on the outside, and you bring those knees towards the armpit area. Soles of the feet are pushing up towards the ceiling, hands are gently pulling back on the knees, really getting into those hips. And instead of lifting up through the tailbone, we want to imagine that our tailbone is reaching down towards the front of our mat. Tucking that chin slightly. Just take a breath. You can gently rock side to side here if you want to. And then come to stillness. Two more breaths here. Gently releasing one knee, one foot, and the other, and then allowing the feet to come down to the ground. And we're going to come into Shavasana, our relaxation. So your choice, you can keep the knees bent, feet wide and knees draw in. You can take our Supta Baddha Konasana, our reclined cobbler's pose, and the knees come wide and the soles of the feet touch. Or perhaps you stretch out those legs and you take the full Shavasana in our corpse pose. You've got a pillow, maybe bring it, place it underneath your head. If you've got a blanket, you can use that as well. Gently cocooning yourself, making yourself feel snugly and warm and relaxed. And again, just like at the beginning of the practice, arrive here. Notice how your body feels. May your mind soften. Your body relax. Take a breath, relax. Your toes, feet, ankles, lower legs, relax. Your toes, feet, ankles, lower legs, relax. Your knees, thighs, hips, pelvis, relax. Your knees, thighs, hips, and pelvis, relax. Your tummy, your ribs, your chest, relax. Your tummy, your ribs, your chest, relax. Your lower back, your middle back, your upper back, relax. Your lower back, your middle back, upper back, relax. Your fingers, your palms, your hands, your wrists, relax. Your fingers, your palms, your hands, your wrists, relax. Your lower arm, your elbow, your upper arm, relax. Your lower arm, your elbow, 
for overall relax. Your shoulders, your neck, your throat, relax. Your shoulders, your neck, your throat, relax. Your head, your forehead, the back of your head, relax. Your head, your forehead, the back of your head, relax. Your eyes, your nose, your ears, your mouth, relax. Your eyes, your nose, your ears, your mouth, relax. Your cheeks, your jaw, your mouth, relax. Your cheeks, your jaw, your mouth, relax. Your whole body is relaxed. Your whole body is relaxed. Taking moments in silence. Taking three conscious deep breaths where you are. And when you're ready, slowly. Rolling over onto one side, or feel free to stay there. It's your practice, you can stay there for the rest of the evening if time allows. If you're coming up into a comfortable seat, just notice how you feel as you arrive here, bringing your hands to your heart. Always have kind and loving intentions, hands to your mouth for kind and loving words, and to your forehead, to that third eye, for kind and loving thoughts to yourself, to those around you, and the rest of the world. From me to you, thank you for sharing your evening with me. Namaste. Thank you.